All right, my clubbies. It's a good day to have a good day for sure. Y'all know good times is a state of mind. And with that being said, I plan on have another fabulous day. All right, let me talk. Got a few notes here. Mob Club members, those that have actually purchased a mug on the website at michaeljsteen.com, you should have gotten another email last night. Check your emails or yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Check your emails, and if you didn't, if you purchased a mug and didn't get an email, send me another email to mike at michaeljsteen.com. Give me a little patience. I'm working. I had one system that didn't work out the first email y'all got. So I switched to another system. It's on the, actually in my website. And um, so I'm reloading all the names in there. I don't want to miss anybody. So with that, I only had a 60% open rate. So let me adjust this back just here. I only had a 60% open rate. I checked this morning. So some people are missing that. So check your spam folders and make it to where you get, you can see these emails. Um, those, those emails, like I sent out on a video that I posted as a mug club member, you get to see those first. So, um, those videos come out at least a day early for all mug club members. Of course, this is a way to support the trip. So if you haven't done so, go to michaeljsteen.com, buy you a mug and you'll get all the benefits of that. Uh, another benefit I've just come up with, I've been working on it for a while, didn't just come up with it, but I got it worked out now, is um, this will be kind of cool, uh, Mug Club Call-In Live. So um, I, in the future, we're going to be working on to where you can call, we're going to have one Mug Clubber per show on the live at fives and in the mornings. Good morning, Kayak 7 Cs. Hope all is well. Uh, yes, sir, it is. Um, so we'll have, um, you can call in, I'll have one member call in per show, ask any questions and just chat. So I think that would be kind of a cool feature. So that's something I'm working on. Also along with that, we'll have other guests call in, uh, going to step it up a little bit. Um, probably other YouTubers and kind of help spread the word out. So, um, that's another cool thing. So. Uh, in order to, again, in order to be able to call in, you need to be in the mug club, the actual purchase the mug. So, um, changing, uh, the mug club days, the mornings to Mons Monday and Fridays. I'm just dropping Wednesday and I'll tell you why. So we do, um, live at five on Tuesday evening and it doesn't, nothing has changed, let's say from Tuesday evening to Wednesday morning. So it's kind of like redundant. I don't have a lot to talk about usually. So we're going to, as an official, that you can sort of count on unless something happens. Uh, if I'm not underway, I don't do them usually because there's, you know, I don't have too much happening. But um, when we're underway, Mondays, or when I'm on the boat, Mondays and Fridays will be the new date. What I am going to do, there's been more requests for this, is more live ride-alongs. So that's what I'm kind of going to replace that Wednesday morning one with is I am definitely going to focus on trying to do more live ride-alongs. So, for instance, when we leave here, there's a place if you Google, uh, oh, that thing just got dark. Uh, there's a place called Hell's Gate that we have to go through uh, north of here. And I want to be sure and uh, live stream that whenever we go through there. Um, uh, you know, I don't want to say anything until I get there, but hopefully it ain't as bad as some people say, but we're going to catch it at a slack tide. We're going to catch it at a dead tide, either dead high, dead low, and, um, move through there like that. So, um, but I want to live stream that. So I'm going to do more live streams for you, um, working that out more and more. So it's all, you know, it's all stuff you try, I try and work out, but let me see. Let me come back to this here real quick. Give me one second. Open this live up. I'm going to answer some questions here. Let me just turn the volume down. 
Mine. All right. Uh, hey, Jules. Good morning, Captain. Good morning to you. Sea C to Sea Adventures. Good morning, Mike. San Diego. How you doing, mate? Uh, Zach Henry. Good morning from North Carolina. We're beating on your back door, buddy. Not not too much longer. Chuck Hensey. Uh, good morning. Um, Axial. Nice backdrop. Just what I thought. That's pretty cool, eh? So, uh, can you, is good times? Do you see them? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good times in the background, Contiki's. I guess I could have. Let's see if I can turn around there a little bit. There you go. It's good times in Contiki in the background. It is a nice backdrop. It is a beautiful place to be. Um, Dave from Southern California. Wayne, good morning. Steve, morning from the UK. Charles, morning. Buck, morning from Indiana. Morning, Mike Caldwell. Ride along Wednesdays. Hey, that's a good idea, uh, kayak. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna have to, I'll go over this again in a little bit because I know how people get in late. Uh, is Axel asked, is there a sailboat, white and two mast, that is on the same schedule as y'all? Seems to be in all of Marty's videos. Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's not that we particularly know of. Uh, thing got dark again. Not that, not that I know of, like there's not one that we've talked to that's following, let's say that, I'm not sure. Um, Alan Kramer, Indiana here, good morning, Eric. Uh, good mo morning, live stream cruises are great on the second book. Thank you so much, Eric, I appreciate you, buddy. Let me know how that does, let some people on here know it, how if you enjoyed it, and I think you will. Uh, guys are really good and, and love to read, thank you so much. Uh, Jarrett, uh, good morning from Missouri, Ken. Good morning from North Carolina, too. Cool. Uh, James, good morning, Mike. Hope you have a good day. Oh, definitely are, brother. It's hard to have bad days in places like this. Even with challenges, it's for me. It, it works out. Uh, representing North Carolina crew. Y'all, oh, a bunch of them. Yep, yep, kayak, of course. Greetings, North Carolina. Going to be a good time. No doubt about it. Uh, James, good morning. Soggy wet, Texas. That must be exciting looking at the weather. It's funny when you're tied to a dock, you don't pay attention to the weather as much. As soon as you even thinking about getting underway, boy, you go right on, you're on the weather every day. You're like a weatherman. Good morning, forever fixing. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Uh, let's see, let me go back to my notes. So for those coming in a little later, um, I'm changing the Mug Club morning dates. It used to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to Monday and Friday. But, and the reason is I do a live at five on Tuesday. So by Wednesday morning, nothing really has changed. And it's not, I don't have a lot of good content, but what I am increasing is more um, live while we're underway. Um, sometimes I can't, um, those of you that follow along, y'all can help out in the comments. And I'm looking to make a few more moderators. So I'll be reaching out here because uh, I know certain people follow, do follow a lot more. They have time, but if and whenever where I'm underway, man, that thing it's dark real quick. If and when I'm underway, uh, I can't always pay attention to comments like I'd like because you know sometimes you're in tight areas or whatever, whatever. So y'all can mention that. Uh, I'd appreciate it if I can't because you know I like to answer comments and that's that's the other thing. When I'm underway, if I can, I love the interaction. Uh, sometimes I get bored just driving. So, but. I'm going to do more live, so uh, there we are. So where we are, we are still at Dallas Bluff Marina. Y'all think, I, I think I told you on the last one, this thing is $15 a night. If you are in the area, Dallas Bluff Marina is worth a little extra five, six miles up the river to come here. Um, super quiet. I'm, I'm going to walk you around here when I'm done. Uh, it's a little fishing marina. Uh, they got camp, little campgrounds you can stay in. Um, it's, it's way out here. Uh, it's in a little town, if you Google, called Shellman's Bluff. And it's actually on that video that just dropped. So, you Mug Club members, check out, check your links. Make sure you got them. Um, but, uh, it's just a great, quiet little family home. Been in their family for 40 years. The mom lives right upstairs here in the apartment. She's 90-something. 
uh, all the family uh, is super nice. It, it's just a great place to, yeah, every time we get close to it, it goes dark. Back this up a little more. It's just a really uh, nice little place to be. Um, we're moving tomorrow. Upward, we try not move on the weekends, but the weather is opening up for tomorrow. So the winds are laying down a little bit. You notice it ain't nearly as windy. It's real calm out there, and I'll walk around and show you. But um, we also don't mind this because we're out way out, so probably won't have too much boat traffic. So we'll be moving tomorrow. We are getting close to Savannah. That's what we're working towards. A little town within Savannah is called Thunderbolt. If you search that on uh, on maps, and um, it went dark again. We're going to be near, we're going to do a meetup. I'll tell you exactly when we get there. Probably like Monday or Tuesday um, um, at Thunderbolt. There's a, or, or excuse me, before Thunderbolt. I, it's, it's really not a town where we're talking about doing, there's a public boat ramp. It's supposed to be pretty nice. Or we have some uh, members that are, I'm communicating with as I get closer. And um, it says it's, uh, there's a, uh, public boat ramp with some covered areas sounds like a really nice place to be so uh, we'll probably do we'll do a meet up there um, whenever we get closer i'll give you the updates probably sunday evening we'll pick the date and uh, let you know exactly where okay so uh let's see uh, on another issue i may have solved my uh, dinghy problem my motor um so <laughs> As things happen, I finally gave up and said, I'm going to take it to a place. And I went to a place up here. Now, let's see if this story plays out, but I believe it is. Um, sometimes with having a professional look at something that you just can't see. And the guys, I, so I went back in there yesterday to ask him, did they, you know, what they did. And he said, yeah. He said, you're missing a, uh, a forget the exact name of it but it's basically a separation plate between the carburetor and basically the head or where it goes in to the into the piston area and so the right airflow of fuel mixture is not getting in there properly and the parts are like I already ordered them they're like ten dollars or nothing they're going to come in at a marina up near uh, thunderbolt so i should have them monday or tuesday of next week and, uh, and so apparently whenever I got that engine, because I've always had this problem, it would run but never develop power properly and then shut off at times. So I'm hoping that this is the problem. But whoever changed that carburetor before me didn't put those parts back on. So when I changed the carburetor, I didn't know it was missing. I just took one off, put one on. I didn't know there was something missing. So it's kind of like Marty and his motors. When he got the motors a certain way, he thought with the fuel, the cooling lines that it is what it is because that's the way they were. Well, the person before him didn't do it right. So I think maybe, um, according to this guy, that's what it is. So let's we'll see we'll see if that works out. But it's kind of interesting. I got the part ordered, and hopefully I can get that dinghy squared away. Uh, let's see. All right, uh, Alan, good morning. Uh, let's see, Alan from Indiana. Eric, uh, morning live stream crews are great on the second book. Yep, I already, yep. Uh, some of these I forget where I'm at. Jared, uh, morning. Let's see, I did that, did that. Bill, good morning. Um, upper class, Buenos Dias, amigo. And back to you. Uh, kayak 7Cs. Kayak 7Cs, I was thinking of you, buddy. So I'll, I'll be I'll be in touch with you. I'll send you. I think I can go right on there and do it. I know you always help me out. Um, where y'all at now, Mike Caldwell? I'm st we're still at Dallas Bluff Marina. Been basically doing stuff all week, getting out videos. So, um, But we've been waiting on the weather. It's been blowing pretty good out of the east. Um, pretty much since we got here, to be honest with you. Otherwise, we'd probably already be gone. But the marina is so in, so well priced um, at $15 a day. It ain't hard to stay on the dock, you know, 
15 bucks a day, my gosh, and uh, get stuff done. And, you know, so anyways, we're moving up tomorrow where everything goes well. We're cutting out in the morning. Did anyone else see that huge splash? Yeah, probably so. There, there's some, I tell you, first of all, there's big old gar. Like, I'm saying gar, seriously. Like, big. We see them every day there. And something splashed last night. Like, huge splash. Like a body size splash. But we didn't see it. I don't know what it was. It had to have been a, a big old dolphin, but we didn't see it. So, always something cool. That's the thing about the water. That's what I love about the water. It's always something cool happening different. And... And so I, I tell people like this, the reason that um, I, I have always loved being on the water is usually when you get to the water, you don't think about, or especially when you get on the boat, I, you sort of forget all your problems. Now, I don't, I don't have a lot of problems, but back when I'm working, and I, I call them problems, just, you know, your everyday issues. But when you get on the water, your your senses are overwhelmed by all the environmental stuff going on around you the water the tides the currents the wind the people the boats the birds all the all the sea life it's just you're so overwhelmed you ain't got time to think usually about your problems so uh this is why getting out to the beach getting out to the ocean or on a boat or a fit, cool fishing spot usually helps you because you're just not thinking about the stuff that is bothering you a reference to thinking, uh, I think a lot of people are, they overthink stuff and they um, <clears throat> worry about stuff that never happens. So let me tell you, for, for those if you're a worrier, let me tell you a little secret. And this is a taught thing. This is not just me saying it. This is things that you learn um, psychology classes. But, but those, if you're a worrier, do yourself a favor and write down what, things that you worry about. Just do it for a week. If you do this for a week, I promise you it's going to help you. Write down, keep a little ledger, a little book with you, and write down what you're worrying about. When you realize you're doing it, just write it down. Just note it, whatever it was. Your car, your 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 health, somebody's health. You know, just all the hundreds of things that bothers you. Write those things down. And then go back at the end of one week. That's all it's going to take. You could probably do it in a day, but go back in one week and strike through everything that didn't happen that you worried about. And I'll bet you at the end of that week, you're going to have struck through 90% of the stuff that you spent your week worrying about. And only, only you can only change something when you recognize that it's happening, that it's happening to you. This is, I've, I've done this years ago and, and I've learned, and it's a, it's a mindset uh good times is a state of mind right it's definitely a mindset but i don't worry about much stuff now and and you can you can learn that skill so if you're a worrier my piece of advice take that advice and do that and i think it'll make you a much happier person a much less worry person because worry can kill you man it creates so many stresses in your body creates cortisol if you're diabetic it makes that worse so that's my little two cents today um good morning sakran matt uh do we have any way we can track your movements um i'm working on that uh obviously for mud club members you would definitely be able to i'm working on that um just hadn't got there yet so uh i, I am so what i'll do actually what i had already thought about just didn't mention it this morning what I've thought about doing is all the mug club members, when we get somewhere, I'm just going to blast out an email with a basically an overhead shot where we're at. So you basically can see real, uh, real time. Um, so working on that. Another reason why I said if you hadn't purchased the mug club, go on michaeljsteen.com. Helps me out and helps you out as well. Good morning, uh, DA. Great looking place. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. I was sitting here like five minutes before um, taking it all in, man. It, I'm going to do a walk around for you. So, But I was sitting here just thinking you hear the birds in the background. It's nice and cool. It's just a light breeze blowing. You sure got to stop and smell the roses at times like this. 
unbelievable. This beautiful saw marsh or saw grass marsh runs out about three miles, four miles that way, so you can see a uh, long ways, but it is a beautiful spot. <laughs> Low Reddy said it looks like his bug club this morning and you're on the menu. It actually not that too bad. I know you see me, but uh it's not as bad as it can be. Uh, the wind's blowing enough, I think, to keep them at bay. Anywhere when you're near sawgrass, you're going to get them. Yeah, I, it is what it is, but it's not really that bad. I, trust me, I, I complain about them, and I'll go inside or go get spray, but it's not. Good morning, David. Uh, Brandon, good morning from Georgetown, South Carolina. We'll be hitting on your back door here pretty soon, too. Uh, kayak 7C, probably dolphin fishing, make some big splashes. Yeah, I believe so. That's probably be my guess. Hey, Jules, good advice. Good morning, Baron. Um, Mike, do you have AIS? No, sir. Uh, Mike Caldwell asked, do I have? No, sir, we don't have that. Um, like I said, for Muck Club members, I'm going to give you a way to know where we are. Uh, Robert Howdy from Indiana. So, um, let's see, let me go back. For those that came in, for those that came in a little bit later, um, we're still at Dallas Bluff Marina, but it's a beautiful place, so we can stay here, but we're leaving tomorrow, and we're heading up, uh, to Savannah, uh, a place called, that's Diet Coke for y'all, but, <laughs> um, a little place called Thunderbolt, we're gonna be up there, and we're gonna do a, a meet up there, we'll give you, probably Sunday night, I'll give out the spot, um, exactly where we're gonna be at, um, for that meet up, probably Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Try not to do them on the weekends because people, you know, they they have family things and whatever and they can't always make them. So that's what we're trying to do them is during the week. Uh, usually, and we do them after, you know, we'll do them around six or so. So most people can get off of work and, and get there. But um, so it's a beautiful spot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk you around, let you check it out. Only thing about this point right here, it's hard to get in out of this turn. All right, let me turn you around so I'll up in your grill. All right, see good times, Contiki there. This place has just one singular dock that runs all the way down. Some of the liverboards are on the end. I think, uh, you know, if you lived here every day, you don't really want a lot of people walking past your boat, probably. So that seems to be the deal. This is that sawgrass marsh I'm talking about. It goes, and then it turns and goes back uh, to the east until the sun rose up here. So that's basically looking east right there. And then uh, they have places for like tent camping and, and then um, places for RVs and stuff. Um, really nice little area. The mom lives upstairs there in that little house, and there's a sitting area. Let me grab my stuff and we'll walk this way. Stand by, let me gather up my stuff here. Just a little mom and pop place. They've lived here. This has been in the family for like 40 years. Um, big, big old beautiful oaks everywhere. Walking past up here through here, but. So this is kind of like their little office area here. Go over here and drop a can in the back of my truck. They have a uh, ice right here on the side. You just put your two dollars in the fish. Don't get up too close to that. 
you just put your money in the little fish thing and you can take ice of what you need. Obviously you got this cool little sitting area down through the docks. Keep you off camera for now. Um, cool little sitting area right here. Now for those that don't know, on these floating docks like this, you must, this is a floating dock because of the big tide swings. You must have one of these and it goes up and down. Sometimes the incline is really, goes up really high and uh, the tide's rushing out now. The tides definitely move fast here. You can see it. moving pretty good it's constantly washing away they constantly are having to put that rip wrap under there it gets washed away and this is deep this is like 20 feet right here with the property right there it's 20 about 20 feet right there this is where these big the fish are dolphin Basically, just your dock that runs all the way down. Got a feeling you're gonna be hearing that wind. All right, guys, turn back against sneaking in behind this pole. There we go. That wind that's blowing, I just realized it. Put my darn shades on. Let's see if we turn around and show you how fast this water is moving here. Uh, when the wind and the waves are opposing right in here, you'd be surprised how, how rough this gets. So, um, but anyways, we're, we're just down there. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, let's see, today's Friday, so hopefully tomorrow evening we'll do a live at 5. We should be uh, a little further north, probably 30 miles north of here. And then the next day we'll be basically in the Savannah area, but not exactly in Savannah. So, uh, uh, let's see, someone said I can read a very nice, quiet place. That's, that is the key here. It's nice and quiet, little family atmosphere. Very cool, uh, very good place to stop over and spend a few days, especially if you've been traveling a while. It's worth, it's a little, about, you know, five or six miles up here, whatever it is. Um, it's definitely worth the ride up, a little bit of ride it takes to get up here. It is nice. Hopefully that wind is not going to hear that wind blowing, but I'm behind this poles here. I'm holding you up to a post, but uh, anyways, uh, Mug Club, people that's actually in the Mug Club that's purchased the mug, check your emails. So let's make sure uh, everybody's getting emails that's supposed to. That video is out. And then uh, all uh, regular YouTube, the video is dropping this evening. It'll be, I have just finally put out my first video. And I'm kind of doing... Because I'm behind the way I'm gonna do them because there's so much cool stuff happening right at the time is I'm doing a little intro usually five to ten minutes maybe about where we're at where we're at what we're doing and uh, um, we're like where we're at and what we're doing and then go into the regular video and you'll see how I've separated whenever it comes out but um, for, for all mug clubs members you should have already gotten an email open your email check your spam folders or whatever again if someone does not have one send me a because uh, i switched to another email provider trying to get it better because it the last one wasn't good um so i'm gonna wrap it up we got a fuel today a couple of other small projects to do and get ready for leaving tomorrow so we're gonna talk to y'all soon y'all remember Good times is a state of mind. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll see how this adventure plays out.